Hello and thank you for watching. The title of this video is Pressure and Flow. In this video we are going to talk about the relationship of these variables and it is in fact our opinion that understanding pressure and flow will help you with your mortuary magic. Let us consider gravity fed injection. If we were to add fluid to a funnel and raise it higher, there would be force and so the result of that would be a rate of flow. Whereas if we lowered the funnel, there would be less or no force and therefore a reduced rate of flow or no flow at all. Having established that pressure creates flow and applying this knowledge, we can also realize that while we would increase flow, we are increasing the pressure. So for example, if we had fluid flowing through a space, if we increase the flow into this space, we would have simultaneously increased the pressure. For our purposes I'm going to suggest that we unlearn the terms used to label the control knobs of the standard embalming machines and together we will label them more accurately. This will then translate to greater embalming understanding which can be called upon to expect greater results. The knob to our left is commonly known as the pressure valve and though it has a great influence on the potential pressure, more accurately we might describe this instead as a bypass valve as its major responsibility is to offer a path of great resistance or a path of least resistance to return fluid back to the tank. The knob to the right is known as the rate of flow valve. Its adjustments vary the flow as well as the pressure. While open, it injects the full potential pressure reading on the machine and restricted only a fraction thereof. For this reason, I suggest it be called the injection valve as it more clearly defines its role and relationship to the bypass or pressure regulator valve. In science, we don't just make claims, we support them. So I'll gladly post a video in the comments demonstrating just how much the rate of flow valve influences the pressure with a pressure gauge plumbed in line from the machine. I would suggest that within your own embalming setting, you give that a go to get a thorough understanding of what type of internal pressure you build up. If you're already using our Frankenbaum machine, you already know these values as our pressure gauge gives you these internal resistance readings already. Um, enjoy the advertisement video. Thanks. Bye. If science teaches us anything, it teaches us to accept our failures as well as our successes with quiet dignity and grace. Science!
Son of a bitch bastard, I'll get you for this! What did you do to me? What did you do to me? <laughs>